Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is May 28th, and this is your aftermarket update. All right, we had a good day here at the Oil Trading Group. You can see the price ladder there on the CL in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Um, it was an interesting day. We, uh, uh, w One of our room members characterized it as good day, could have been awesome day, right? We had uh, a couple of shorts. In fact, I'm going to let you listen to uh, the opening analysis that we do every day. I don't normally uh, play that analysis. We usually just kind of talk about the trade and some stuff like that. But today I'm actually going to play the analysis for you. Uh, and then uh, I'll roll right into the trade of the day. Uh, but if you look up here, the sweet spot retracement at 59 uh, 59 it got to 57. We had an order placed at 59 59 and uh, we decided uh, to wait for that level. And here's what it looked like on the 15 minute chart. And here's one of the reasons why I waited. We had some liquidity stacked up short at 59.60, I thought on this big heavy bar. Uh, and then the next bar that opened uh, in the green and rally that uh, we would go in and, and take out uh, or touch into that 60 area. And then I was looking to get short at 59.59. It actually only got to 59.57. And then of course the market sold off considerably here today. Uh, we also had a long at 81 and the market rallies from 83 double bottom up to 18. So 35 ticks in that direction that, that I ended up missing. So what I ended up doing is once we couldn't, once we got up into the view app and we could not sustain ourselves over this structure mid, uh, I ended up getting short right here at zero, zero on a break through these candlesticks. And I ended up getting short there at zero, zero. And uh, we ended up with a uh, $450 uh, CL trade and that ends up being the trade of the day but what I really want you to focus in on is that analysis that we do in the morning it uh, was about six minutes uh, maybe a little longer than that seven minutes in length but uh, you get to see exactly uh, what we talked about and why we talked about what we were going to be doing and then we actually implemented the plan uh, a little bit later uh, in the trading day so I really want you to spend time focused on the analysis that we look at in the morning get comfortable with that because that's something that we do every day and if you haven't done so already we invite you to come in uh, to take a free trial so you can see that analysis firsthand. In addition to that, uh, I will let you take a look at this uh, $450 CL trading, see where we get in, how we manage the trade. It didn't last very long. Um, and then uh, we stopped trading for the day. And I'm kind of glad we did uh, because if you look here now at 1045 a.m. Central Standard Time, the market is really in this kind of chop zone. So um, I'm going to let you listen to that uh, trade of the day. We'll do it what we always do. We'll let you see where we get in. Uh, we'll cut it into pieces, put some music behind it, speed it up, and then uh, you can see where it is that we exit it. So without further ado, here is that OTG trade of the day. This 30-minute chart here. Uh, we had this massive sell-off, right? And uh, it was just a major uh, move to the downside on uh, I believe that was Thursday of last week that we had that big move down. Coming in today, uh, we have begun the process of making uh, a little bit of that ground up. Uh, you've got lows, higher lows, right? As you kind of come through here. And we do have a little bit of a trend line. Again, this blue line that I drew up here uh, in this area right here, I would expect to find some resistance if we come back up and test into that zone. We have two sweet spot retracements here today that we look at. Uh, we have 59.59 and we have 60.20. So my expectation level here this morning is that we could rally all the way to here with a couple of stops along the path, right? Here and here. But if you did rally all the way up into this area, you'd be looking for a zone of influence that looks about like this. Okay, you'd be looking for a zone of influence that looks about like that in terms of resistance. So here's here's kind of what my thought process is as we enter into the day to today. There's an opportunity for us to continue to push up. And you'll notice here, and I'll show you on this five-minute chart, we are... Kind of rotational around one of our market maker levels here. Uh, but again, this zone here from 6103 to 6140, it's about a 35, 40 tick range. That area should hold here today. And that would be a place that I would be looking 
uh, to get short if we rallied all the way to there. Now, I don't expect us to do that. It may take us a day or two to get into that level again if we're going to rally up into that. That could take us a day or two. My first area on the chart that I would be looking uh, for us to pause is this sweet spot retracement here at 59.59. And then right above that, and I say right above that, it's uh, a few ticks above that. It's 60.20. These are the two areas that I would expect us to pause. Now, again, what makes these sweet spot retracements good is that they are what you would expect, kind of the minimum uh, or not the minimum, but they it's what you expect as retracement as you begin this process of, you know, continuing the, the downward angle here, right? So that's kind of the thing that I'm looking at here this morning. Of course, uh, you had this triple top. Again, we're looking at a 30-minute chart. You had a triple top, and we've really been selling off uh, pretty aggressively. And you'll notice that we've had some pullbacks. A couple of these pullbacks, if you'll recall, we're also sweet spot retracements. And so again, as we come back up into this area here today, this sweet spot retracement is going to be uh, key. And if you just pull this box back into time, uh, you, you see that once we finally broke through that area, and this is, again, this is why this is going to be an important band up here today, is that uh, it was an area of substantial support and resistance depending upon the side that you were on. Now, this is a 30-minute chart, and this makes it a little bit more challenging, right, to try to get into stuff because 30-minute charts, we don't trade on the 30-minute time frame in here, and your stops would have to be a little bigger, etc. But what you do have up here today uh, that does help you is you have your market maker levels that are kind of in this zone. So we said 59 59.59, well, you've got right up here at 59.60, you've got your structure target. We know there's a 10 tick box around that. And then just beyond that is the extension one and the top of the box up there uh, would also be uh, that 60.20 area. So again, those two levels together giving you uh, a decent area to kind of look to get in. So if you start to work your way down from the higher time frame down to the smaller time frame, you've got some confluence there uh, to be looking at uh, this morning. On the ES here today, you do have a sweet spot retracement that we're running into right now. And that is right here at, uh, what is that, uh, 80, 28, 34 half. So we'll put that on the chart here. 28, 34 half is a sweet spot retracement. Now again, you know that I'm not a big fan of trading before the market opens. And so... But let's put this on here, 28.34 half sweet spot right there. And uh, that is kind of what we're bumping into here at the moment. So we'll watch that area as well. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not looking to trade here uh, on this before the open here this morning. Uh, but you kind of get the idea. You've had some previous sweet spot retracements just to kind of give you, uh, these are some previous things that we had marked on the charts, right? And again, it's a 30 minute chart. So what you would need to be doing is looking for opportunities on the smaller time frame, but that ended up going 14 points off that sweet spot retracement. Now you did have a five point, uh, you did have a five point pull underneath that level, but once you closed back above, there was an opportunity for 14 points, and this one actually hit it to the tick, rallied into the VWAP, and that was six points almost, five and a half points. So again, those sweet spot retracements are important. Right, those sweet spot retracements are important, and they give you uh, some structure and context as well. Again, thirty-minute charts, kind of tough to trade, right? But you'd have to, you would have had to come down into uh, that uh, lower time frame. So again, twenty-eight thirty-four half is the sweet spot retracement. The caveat here, though, is that I'm not a huge fan of trading before the open. So again, we'll see how this thing kind of plays itself out. 28, 34 half was the sweet spot there. So again, just kind of looking from a bigger picture perspective this morning. Uh, again, the market has been uh, on a downward angle, right? And you do have a little bit of consolidation here uh, at the moment. So downward angle, uh, you do have this higher low and lower high, sorry, higher high. Let's sorry, let's say this again. L higher lows here beginning to develop. And look what just happened 
on your ES, right? As you hit that sweet spot retracement and uh, the market just sold here, right? 28.34 half was the sweet spot. It came right up into that area and is down now at 34. So again, that would have been an opportunity there for you. In at zero, zero. Stop here is nine. Stop is nine. Targeting into that 81, 82 area. Maybe the MS mid at 70.